A teacher recently asked me how she could easily take all of her, her Google Slides and bring them into Google Jamboard so that way she could annotate them and basically use them as templates for her whiteboards. And I figured out how to do that. So you're going to open up your uh, Google Slide Deck, go to File, Download, and you want to make sure that you're downloading it as a PDF. You can choose image from that option. So you can do file, download, and JPEG, but it will only download the current slide. It will not download the entire deck. So I've already downloaded this particular deck here. It's about 85 slides, which if I'd done, it, if I'd done this manually would have taken me quite a while to export it. But instead I'm going to use an automator script. And if you're looking at my blog, which I'll put in the links below here on YouTube, um, you'll be able to find the automator script then. It was one that I came across from digging around on the internet. Um, so what we're going to do is use this automator. So unzip it, open the automator, which will open it with Apple's automator. Then the first prompt, just to walk you through what all this means, is that this first prompt is going to ask you for what item you want to convert to images. Then it's going to render the PDF pages as images. And then this is where you actually tell them where you want it to go. Um, and so I'm just going to do, uh, I could do desktop, I could choose other. And if I do other, then I could make a new folder on my desktop. That is um, weekly tech tips as JPEGs. Okay, and so I'll say choose. All right, and so now up here on the right hand corner, I'm going to, to click run. Now I need to find the file that I want to convert. So once I find the PDF that I want, I'm going to click open. And as you can see along the bottom, it says running. That's because it is currently rendering that entire PDF of around 85 pages into JPEGs. The workflow is complete. And then I should be able to open up that folder, which I created on my desktop. So if I go to my desktop, it is weekly tech tips as JPEGs. And I now have all 83 of my slides as JPEGs. Now I want to bring them into Jamboard. So I'm going to open them in Jamboard. This piece is a little bit laborious as it stands right now, but you at least have the individual images to go with. So we can say set background, choose the image. And if I open up my finder window, I can just find which slide I want, click and drag it in, and then it will plunk it as a page in my Jamboard. And if I wanted to continue on, I could just drag each one in and the nice part about doing this is that when you click clear frame, it doesn't actually remove the background. It doesn't remove this image here because that's set as the background. But now if I were to use my Jamboard pens or any of that on here, or for those of us that just got iPads, utilize your iPad with this, then you can still annotate over the material that you're providing from your slide deck without worrying about actually modifying what you have for content. And because this is a Google document, you can also use Google Classroom and ass assign it to students and make a copy for every student. So again, for those of you with iPads, this might be a good way to provide uh, drag and drop activities or fill in the blanks or any other tangible uh, activity like that and do it in a digital manner. So let me know what you think and be sure to check out the links below for the link to download the Apple Automator script that I've mentioned in this talk.